Hey, it's Anne, the Animation Princess, and on our Animal Crossing episode for today, I'm here to share with you how many bells you can harvest from one money tree. Let's go. As you know, and if you don't know, there are multiple ways that you can make money on Animal Crossing New Horizons. What you see my character doing here is harvesting gold roses. Gold roses are a mix or a hybrid of uh, um, red roses that wilt and are watered by the golden watering can. I was going to say that you needed to mix two colors to make the red or black roses, but actually all you need to do is to put red roses at least in a cross formation. That is two and two. Two and two roses will give you black roses and black roses once watered and left to wilt a little while will give you gold roses. I try to water my roses every day just so that if there are any black roses they will turn gold. As you can see here I am harvesting a money tree and right there there's a little shiny hole which I didn't dig today but I will show you that you can use those holes to make more money trees. Why do you need money? Because everything in Nook's Cranny is so expensive. I mean, $73,000 for a table filled with food, which I did put over in my other little camping area where, I'm sorry, over in my other little restaurant area, I replaced an old table with the new table filled with food. I'm going to get to the bell tree in just a minute and how many bells that you can harvest from the bell tree because I saw someone asking that question. However, I just wanted to show you that uh, when I replace something like an expensive table, I don't necessarily just resell it back to Nook's Cranny because they just give you a few little measly dollars or bells for it. So I saved that table and I put it here. Also, over in Able Sisters, things are not really cheap. So one outfit almost costs at least $4,000 or 4,000 bells. So you also need a little bit of money if you're going to go shopping in the Able Sister shop. Sometimes they have treats like bubblegum, crowns, uh, and I thought perhaps they would come up with candy. I thought I saw someone else walking around with candy, another character, um, but it may just be the other animals that end up with like the popsicles and things like that. So I was hoping that there would be like suckers or candy, but right now there are other animals that come to my island and they sell things like bags and shoes and socks. And look at the prices for these boots and a backpack for like a thousand forty bells. You know, so you need a few bells in your pocket. On to the money tree. On your island, every day there appear these holes. So there can be a hole in the ground. You grab your shovel and this type of hole right here is a fossil hole. Other than the fossil hole, there is also a money hole. And you can dig that up as well. So after I bury this or cover the dirt up from this hole, I go over to where I saw a little shiny hole in the ground. And this little shiny hole always has 1,000 bells in it. I've never come across a hole that has more than 1,000 bells. I've heard a lot of chatter about how many bells you can bury in a hole and actually get that amount of bells back. So you definitely can take 1,000 bells and turn around and rebury that 1,000 bells back in that hole and then end up with a money tree for at least 1,000 bells. The hole will not let you bury 100 bells in it. It has to be at least 1,000. So I've experimented to see how high up I can go. So I'll take out quite a number of bells, like this is 30 5,000 bells and then I'll dig that money tree up and then take it to a safer place other than the soccer field which I'm going to decorate a little bit more if I can figure out how to do that soon and I'll plant that nursery money tree someplace else. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to dig up this tree. I'm not sure what kind of tree it is right now but I'll look in my pocket 
and make sure it's not an orange tree. And no, I see it is a hardwood tree that I just dug up. It was probably a money tree at one time. Money trees, once you harvest them after so many times, I believe they stop growing money. I should say stop growing bells. But as you can see with this tree right here, once I shake it off, this was at least 57,000 bells. So it grew bells at least once in group of three bags of 57,000 bells each. So you can at least harvest up to 57,000 and I have at least buried up to 89,000 maybe even 99,000 bells just to see if I could get at least one harvest of bells from that. What I don't know is how many times bells will grow on one tree. From my experience bell trees stop growing after a while. I noticed that if I plant trees, and I'll go down here and show you, some of these trees are orange trees, and some of them were nursery money trees that I planted when they were small, and they gave off bells at least one, two, or three times. After that, sometimes they stop growing, and then I have to come over and figure out on a day that the orange trees have grown, which one is not growing anymore, and then I will dig that tree up. So I'm also sharing with you that this was a good fishing day for me. It doesn't often happen that I find so many sharks on my island. So I did find at least two to three sharks this day. And I also caught that gigantic ocean sunfish, which is just a gorgeous fish. All of these fish I put away and I saved them for the visitor by the name of CJ. CJ will pay you 100 and 50% of the same price that Nook's Cranny will pay you. So let's just say Nook's Cranny will give you $15,000 for an ocean sunfish. Then CJ will give you the same 100% plus another 50% for the fish that you catch. So whenever I see sharks, I definitely try my best to stop and catch those and just save them for CJ. I'm not going to get the money immediately because CJ doesn't come every day. He comes like every 10 days or something like that. However, it's worth it to catch these fish and just put them away so that when he does arrive, I can go ahead and sell those fish to him at a markup profit. I love catching these sharks. It's so funny how you see this giant thing and then you're able to stick it in your pocket and it's gone. This day, not only did I catch multiple sharks, but I also caught a Dorado. And this goldfish also goes for a pretty penny for CJ. So I end up getting at least 20000 to 25000 per uh, fish that may only uh, be gotten for or may only sell for 15,000 bells over at Nook's Cranny on a good day. I put all of these giant fish out of the way so that, you know, my island is a little bit neater and I don't have to put them into the storage in my house. And then when CJ comes, I just come around and do a sweep of my island and pick up anything that needs to be given to him because this is like a huge shark tank. Can't push that over anymore. So by the time CJ arrives on my island, I know that I'm going to sell at least 20, I'm sorry, 200 to 300,000 bells worth of fish to him. That's not fishing every day. It's just fishing whenever I see something good like a shark. And if I see a shark, then I'll keep fishing that day to see if there's anything else good. And after that, I can go over to the Abel Sisters and I can buy some more clothes, of course.
So I hope you've enjoyed learning that you can plant up to at least 89,000 bells and get a great harvest. If for some reason that does not work for you, here's one other tip. Take your golden watering can and water your tree. You know what happens.